YouTube, John Vaughn, and uh, this is how you win the lottery. Pretty easy. If you want to win the lottery, um, mostly just luck. But you could you could write a program, which is what I'm doing, and it will maybe help your chances of winning just a little bit. So basically, what we got going on here is I am stealing all the who's the lottery numbers here. So basically I'm just taking all the winning numbers. Right now I'm in 2007. And I'm adding them to this big list right here that I got full of winning lotto numbers right now. So we get one last page of them here. that going on there so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check each number hey that's not right yeah that is right so basically right now out of 690 picks that's how many I got stored right now I got 690 winners um, so I can see that the one's been picked a hundred times where the two's only been picked 74 times so I might want to pick a two um, all my winning numbers, two might be good. Let's see, three's been picked 102 times, four's been picked 90 times. Let's see if we can find anything less than 74. Let's see. Alright. So, let's find out. If we want to find out what, what the average number of picks is that a number's been picked, we can do that. Let's go back to our program right here. And go down here to print stats, get stats, um, print stats, let's see. Let's just go ahead and do this right here. And let's go ahead let's go ahead and make us an integer for average. Go ahead and see what happens. Nothing. So, okay. So it looks like the average number of picks is 86. So what we'll want to do is get anything that's less than average and print that out. So let's do that right here.
we can look and see any number that's been picked less than the average 86. And let's take a look and see. Okay. So, 86 is our average. So, here's all the numbers that have been picked less than the average amount of time. So, 2's only been picked 74 times. 6 has been picked 83 times, 9 has been picked 83 times, 11, so I might pick a 2, might pick a 12, might pick a 29, probably definitely pick a 34, and a 45. So, this is just going to give us a little bit more information about the actual winning numbers. What if we want to check and see if our particular number that we want to pick has already won? Well, we can do that too. Let's get rid of these guys right here so that we're not bugging everything up and taking forever. So let's go back and recompile our program. Let's run it. Okay, so we got 690 numbers. And I've got a lottery pick that I just picked here. So it's a quick pick. Let's see. 16, 18, 31, 35, 37, 41. Let's check and see if that number has actually ever won before. So that number has not won. How do we know it's actually won? Let's take a look at winners right here. And let's just run this again. Let's look at this very last number on our screen right here. So that's 3, 7, 21, 26, 30, 37. Let's check and see if that's ever won. Yes, it, it's already won. It won on 3, 7. There's the date right there. It won on 3, 7, and it tells you, hey, this number actually won. So you can go in. If you're the type of person that likes to pick your own numbers, you can pick your own numbers. You can check and see if that number that you've picked has ever actually won and hit the jackpot before. Um, or you can go in. And you can get particular statistics about each individual number, how many times they've been picked, what the average number has been picked. And we're going to add in a bunch more statistics. We have other programs like this that I've written, um, like not this right here, but somewhere on here. So right here we've got some other some other for the quick pick and the pick three lotto and we got some data for it. Um, if you look, this is just the compiled data of all the quick picks of all the pick three. And if you look, you can look at some results here. And what it's telling you is on machine, you've got zero through nine on your quick picks that you can pick. Um, so basically it's giving you the percent out of this right here. This is the total number number of picks. So as you can see, you're a little bit over 10.7%. So 10% of the time, um, machine zero picks a one. 10% of the time, machine two picks a one. And 11% of the time, machine three picks a one. So what's your lowest? Looks like your lowest is machine three. No, machine one picking a one. That's your lowest probability. So that's so that's probably the highest that you want to pick. So you probably want to always pick something that goes with one because your lowest percentage is one on machine one. So you probably want to pick one hundred something because in order for that number to get to the average, which it looks like is around ten somewhere right around 10 then you're gonna have to see a bunch more ones coming up so the law of averages says everything's gonna even out so that's how you can win the lottery it may not actually work you may never win it but it is fun to write a program and to me it makes more sense to not pick a not pick a lottery pick that's actually already won when your chances of any number being picked are let's see you have 48 47 times 46 times 45 times 44 times 43 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 okay 
so we got one thousand million so you got almost nine billion possibilities that can actually pick so um, definitely don't want to pick one that's already been picked and there's no possible way that we're gonna have a really even good amount I mean right now I only have 600 numbers that I'm able to check you know so if I look back at the Hoosier lottery page they're giving me a total of 123 so they're gonna give me 1200 numbers out of six billion possibilities so I'm not really gonna be able to narrow it down a whole lot but if I do a lot of mathematics maybe I can get somewhere close to being able to win if not then maybe luck will reach out to me and just go ahead and let me win because of all the work that I've done on manipulating the data so um, I am putting a JavaScript version of this on my website for all the Indiana lotteries so if you want to go in and check the statistical printouts for the particular numbers you can do that I've got some better programs that I've written in Java it's just converting them over to JavaScript so that's how you can win the lottery anyways I don't know if it will actually work but it is a programmatic method there are a bunch of other lotto prediction programs out there that people have written and they seem to think will work I don't really think it will work but it is fun to program and it is a fun dream that I have to win a couple million dollars so what that means to you if I win a couple million dollars you will never see another YouTube video from me again actually you'll probably see a lot more because I'll have a lot more time on my hands anyways YouTube y'all keep it easy